Mr. J. Christopher, protect the righteous with wisdom and strength. Well, one of the things also, um, when you're different from the majority, um, it can be both a positive and can be a curse. Um, when you're different from the majority, and then you're also doing things which um, are perceived as negative within your organizational context, people are more likely to remember that. Interesting. Um, it's not fair, but that's just the way the wait, life wait, is. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, pull up on wait, that. When you're different from the majority, which is could hurt or hurt, help or hurt you, people remember when you're doing something outside the norm. Right. You stand out like a sore thumb with that neck tattoo. Right, exactly. As a as maybe a dark complected man, right, or a you know transgender person, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, I know we don't. You want it to think that we don't notice your differences, but we do, right. So take that into account, and that's just the way the world works. That, that's just the way the world works. It's not right. It's not fair. It just is. And so once you understand that, you say, okay, well, to the extent that I want to be different in some ways, I have to again overperform in other ways. Now then, the the flip side is if you overperform on the positive way and you do that consistently eventually and it takes some time people will recognize that but they're not going to recognize it the first or the second time you do that brilliant presentation but by the fifth or sixth they're going to say wow you're exceptional I see, yeah. and then what happens is as a black guy you say well wait a minute i don't want to be seen as just an exceptional black guy there's other brilliant black guys out there too but you take that as a compliment and you keep on moving with that mr j christopher protect the righteous with wisdom and strength